arch nemesis, Mr. Ignorance. He's been trying to take me out since the days of my youth. He been it's the 2K Sports pregame show. Los Angeles fans packed inside the Staples Center. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Look at the Lakers. They're the top seed, possessing home court advantage, and they're looking to come out and make a statement here in this first game. A, a long and winding road to get to the NBA Finals. I mean, their great work along the way has given them home court advantage. They don't want to squander it here now. The expectation is that they're going to do just that. I mean, they've been a strong team all season. They're tough to beat in an opponent's building, never mind their own. And with the excitement surrounding the Finals, It'll make this place that much more intimidating. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Philadelphia. They've got Newman. Also Fox out there. And it's Ingram in at the three slot. And Philadelphia has possession. It's a three-point game. They set the pick. Pass to Newman. A three ball. Morris with the rebound. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, you may not be as lucky next time down if you're the defense. You cannot allow him to get those kinds of looks. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. And Philadelphia has possession. Newman, good on the three-point shot. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Stolen away. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Fox, and that one is stuffed right through. And really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skills as a passer might actually be matched by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. Boy, that's a nice surge for them just when they needed it in a game that was so tight. Here's Newman. Five on the clock. Fox passes to Newman. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Yeah, but, but for a guy that shoots it as well as he does, I, I'd say that is an easy look. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. No good on the second free throw. The 76ers trail. And it's good. Fought through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Oh, Maestro. He is so good at making those lead passes. Like conducting an orchestra. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Los Angeles has gone 1-2 from long range in the first quarter. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And here is Los Angeles now. 
Russell with a wide open look. Hits the target from 18 feet. Russell's got five points so far. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you props. Here's Russell. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. The defense to start and ignite that play was terrific, and I love the fact that they attack early in the shot clock. And really look for them now to be even more aggressive on the defensive side. Try to come up with a few more steals. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Lakers. Russell against Fox. Clock at four. Here's Newman. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. Number one, D'Angelo Russell. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Outside, Russell. The three. Again, Russell missing. The 76ers have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Lakers have gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. He dishes it to Robertson. And it's off from three-point range. The 76ers shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Ingram passes to Fox. And stolen by Russell. Here's Roberson. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Here's Fox. Out to the right wing. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. His three pointers off the mark. The Lakers in the lead. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Well, I had a chance to catch up with Los Angeles' head coach. The pregame speech wasn't much as he told me his team is pumped enough to get the NBA Finals underway as it is. He said the only thing he told them was that this is what they've fought for all year, and if they want it, go out and take it. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Another miss by Philadelphia. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Roberson. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists in the game. And an important part of every team's game. We will look at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's key to this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. And Fox gets it to go. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Now, here is Morris. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Ingram passes to Fox. It's deflected and stolen by Jordan. Over to the left wing. Fires the three. Again, the miss by Morris. The 76ers trail by five. The pass to Persingas. Here's Newman. Let's it go with a three. That's good. Basket number five out of five for eight night shooting. Well, if you like offense, that's what you're getting here early on. This has a little bit of playground feel to it, fellas. I mean, forget about defending. Just outscore the other team. Let it fly. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Los Angeles has gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Here's Russell. Tries again, and that's two points on the layup. And the Lakers lead by four. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Now, here is Reed. Back to Fareed. Pocket six. 
Pass to Newman. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. He's simply a machine at the offensive end. I wonder how far behind they'd be if he wasn't having this kind of quarter. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Brewer is checked in for Roberson. And it's Drogic in for Russell. Here's Drogic. Back to Russell. That's in coming off an assist from Drogic. Russell's got nine. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Here's Brewer. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Here's Newman. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Holiday, the pass to Newman. Three-pointer. And the 76ers get it back. From the arc. Reed misses. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. I tell you what, I think he'd be happy if he can continue to get looks like that. Trogic gets the bucket. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. And Fareed kicks to Holiday. Passes to Newman. Here's Reed. Hands it from downtown. Reed's got himself on the board with three there. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Dragic against Holiday. Here's the screen. A three. The Lakers rebound. Another shot. And the officials call goal. Ball tending, so they'll award the basket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. Los Angeles making a switch here. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, might as well make those adjustments right away. The 76ers trail by three. To the right side. Now, here is Reed, covered by Brewer. Newman, the pass to Reed. Just five on the clock. Launches a three. Can't get it to go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. On the wing, Brewer lets it go from deep. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. The 76ers again can't hit it. Lakers leading by six. And it's Kenneth Fareed with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Holiday against Dragic. And he gets it to go. And now an eight-point Los Angeles lead. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second-chance points. Ultra-impressive, guys. Caught them off guard, and they've taken the momentum in this game now. Here's Jones. And nothing is falling for him right now. The Lakers shooting an impressive 60% early. Shot from 12. It's hauled in by Newman. The 76ers trail by eight. Here's Reed. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First trip to the line for him here. The first one falls. And both free throws, good for Reed. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. 
Lakers leading by six. Outside Dragic. Oh, that's blocked. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. And Holiday throws it down. And Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fella. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. For Los Angeles, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. The 76ers trail by five. There's the pass to Newman. Feeds to Reed. Let's it go from deep. That one drops for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. Mickey can't hit. That was a good rebound right there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Clark, a little disparity there in the rebound numbers, but some of that comes down to how the ball bounces. Let's see if it evens out. Here's Newman. 18 points for him. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Here's Trogic from outside. And he gets it to go. Trogic has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Los Angeles. Jones dishes to Reed. From deep. And that's not going to go. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Really active hands early on here as they're able to acquire several steals. Well, they've really been aggressive, guys, on defense, and it's paid off, so why stop? Keep it up. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, they've got Porzingis. Fox is out there with Reed. And it's Ingram, and at the three, the small forward. Here's Russell, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Lakers have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And so Russell hits them both. The 76ers trail by seven. Pass to Reed. Here's Fox. Back to Reed. Pass to Ingram. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Six on the shot clock. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Hammers it home to polish off the break. Agility leads to thievery there as he's got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And Clark, that's been the story of this game so far. I mean, they cannot hand over any more easy points in the open floor. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. It's blocked. Here's the break. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. 
That's a terrific sequence at both ends of the floor. They block the shot and recover it for the fast break finish. Russell against Fox. It's tipped. It's Reed high post, and he goes in for the dunk. And, guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. And Russell with the basket on the assist by Russell. Russell's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. 76ers have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. That free throw good from Reed. And both free throws good for Reed. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Morris, and he slams it one-handed. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Philadelphia with the ball. Passes to Fox. For the three. The 76ers with another miss. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Russell with a wide open look. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his seventh assist here tonight. His ball distribution tonight just as good as it gets. Yeah, it sure has been. I mean, all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Lakers have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. The 76ers trail by three. And there's the pass to Persingas. To the right side. Ingram passes to Persingas. Fox kicks to Reed. Just four to shoot. There's the three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Lakers leading by three. Down low, here's Jordan, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Threw it down with authority. Oh, he can really fly, and you combine that, Clark, with some of the nice penetration, too, and you've got an easy two points. And able to just play well above the rim. I mean, that makes this guy so dangerous when he's in the game. Here's Roberson following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. A 15-footer, Morris, no good. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's Fox. And it's Russell with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. There's a good screen. Jordan sets the pick for Russell. Six to shoot to the paint. Here's Roberson. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. The Lakers have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Roy Hibbert's checked in for the Lakers. So he gets them both. The 76ers trail by nine. 
Clark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Here's Roberson. Russell. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Russell's got 12. And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? And really just trying to take the wind out of their sails here, I think. You know, they're on the wrong end of a run and need to just kind of exhale. Yeah, sometimes you just need to stop the bleeding. Things were starting to spiral completely out of control. And uh, I think a timeout was a no-brainer there. Philadelphia's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let them fly. For Philadelphia, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And he knocks down the first one. This is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line right here. Fox hits them both. And here's Russell. He's got 12. Here's Morris. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his ninth assist in the game now. Clearly, they've been the hotter team here in the first half. Well, they've been grit and grind, working for those high percentage shots, and quite honestly, it's paid off for them. And that's some inspiration. Steals, blocks, and a big dunk. Those are ways that you can really change the momentum in a game. Well, they got to chip away, Clark, at that deficit, and no doubt that'll help. And that's what he's out there for, guys. I mean, he is an electrifying player, no doubt. Los Angeles, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And he makes the first. And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. And the Lakers making a change here. Brewers checked in. Newman, the pass to Ingram. Philadelphia moving the ball around. The shot by Holiday, no good. Los Angeles leading by 11. The drive by Russell. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The first free throw is good. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Mickey's checked in for Morris. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The 76ers trail by 13. Holiday dishes to Fareed to the wing right side hits it from three-point range you know maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters but even still that's not a shot the D can afford to give him Lakers shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60 percent they're a machine from the floor Russell the shot is off excellent D that time from Jones here's Ingram Fareed no good and here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Los Angeles with another miss. The 76ers have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Ingram passes to Newman. Jones with the screen on Russell. There's the feed to Jones. Six on the shot clock. Poked away. Brewer with the ball. Russell kicks to Russell. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Here's Ingram. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And, Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control... That's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was impressive. Mm, I see. There's a screen. Steps back and fires. Brewer's shot is off. The 76ers trail by nine. Ingram passes to Holiday. Here's Newman. 18 points for him. That's tipped. Al Brewer. Pass to Bowden. Rogic left side. Here's Mickey, guarded by Holiday. 
Mickey can't hit. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Krogic with a wide open look. And the Lakers with another miss. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Ingram passes to Fareed. Here's Newman. Dishes it to Fareed. Passes it to Ingram. Tipped away. Turn around Jay. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Los Angeles leading by nine. Outside Dragic. Kicks to Brewer. Takes the three. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Brewer's got six. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. Timeout called to 76ers. The 76ers trail by 12. Holiday, the pass to Newman. Out to the right wing. To the left wing. From outside the arc. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he makes all three. L.A.'s gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Holiday against Dragic. They set the screen. Just 5 to shoot. To the inside. Here's Mickey. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Mickey's got his second basket. Oh, I love that dish down low. The 76ers trail by 11. Top of the key, Holiday. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Ingram. Trains it from beyond the arc. Nine points in the game so far. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. The dish to Brewer. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. Newman, the pass to Ingram. Takes the three. Jones trying to get open. That one misses. His first miss of the game after making his first three. Here's Witt. Poked loose. And the basket by Brewer. Brewer's got ten points in the game. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. Here's Mickey. They get it again. He kicks it to Dragic. 30 seconds left in the first half of the game. Feeds it to Brewer. Outside Dragic. To the middle. Second shot opportunity. Shots good by Mickey. Mickey's got four points now in the quarter. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. Yeah, that's a winning formula as far as I'm concerned. They've been the aggressors and far more assertive on the offensive end. Right wing. Back to Holiday. Pass to Dragic. Here's the three. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the NBA Finals action continues here on 2K Sports. Looking at the Lakers, they've taken this opening game by storm, playing championship. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see...
Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. The 76ers trail by 14. Russell is out there with Marquise Morris. Then there's Roberson. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Russell in at the point guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Singus passes to Fox. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Fox has got his team on the board first here in the second half for the 76ers. Los Angeles leading by 12. The drive by Russell. And he gets it to go. Great way to start to have easy layup against some soft D. Here's Newman. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. He's got 23. That kind of power move has become a trademark of his. The pass to Russell beyond the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Morris, no good. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yeah, it is unfortunate, embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second. And that's all it took. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Fox. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That's on D'Angelo Russell. That free throw, no good. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And Roberson kicks to Russell. Inside. From deep, the drive by Russell, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Taking it to the rack with power right there. No. Hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Here's Newman. Battles through traffic and lays it in. 25 points in the game. Lakers leading by 12. Morris a screen from the left block. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got his third rebound tonight. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Russell, and it's blocked. Ingram. He's guarded by Russell. Porzingis can't hit from in close. Yeah, credit the D there. Got his hands up and made sure he wasn't comfortable on the release. Sure did. Stayed real snug on him and didn't allow him the space he needed to get a good shot off. Well, they need those kinds of plays right now. I mean, smart defense generating some offense. And really, Clark, that's the way you get yourself back into the game. Key stops and then try to get out and transition for some easy ones. Yeah, too many easy buckets coming from inside, and I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks inside, they'll be in big trouble. Reed is checked in for the 76 ones. Good. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? And the Lakers call time here. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Russell against Fox. The drive by Russell. Here's Roberson. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Roberson's got 14. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. Russell against Fox. Philadelphia moving the ball around. 
Reed the pass to Fox. Shot clock at six. Back to Reed. It's intercepted. Last break. The Lakers. Russell's running. Good. Russell's got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Lakers leading by 13 to the inside. Robertson can't hit. Here's Fox. That shot is in just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. Lakers have gone even five of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Down low, here's Jordan. And that one is hammered home. A rim rocker. Up for a second like he might rip the cylinder loose. I tell you what, that is some grown man strength on that attack. Nice D from Russell. The Lakers have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. He feeds it to Russell. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. And stolen by Russell. He dishes it to Robertson. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. He's off on the second. The 76ers trail by 15. Read the pass to Persingas. Here's Newman. He's guarded by Russell. It's stolen by Morris. Outside Russell. The feed to Jordan. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Roberson gets the bucket. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> and Fox gets it to go. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Los Angeles leading by 17. The drive by Russell. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Seventy sixers have gone seven to thirteen in the third quarter so far, just above fifty percent. Fox kicks to Reed. Pass to Fox. Dishes it to Reed, but they recover it. Here's Fox. He's got nineteen. That's tipped and stolen by Russell break the Lakers here's Roberson it's deflected and so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession 